Well, good evening. It's Charlie ZL2 CTM. Um, just wanted to uh, do the the first of uh, would be a series of videos um, looking at a a power slash SWR meter. Um, there's been several requests, and um, I think it'd be quite useful to have one in the shack as well to do a uh, an SWR slash power meter. Um, my feeling is uh, it, it should be for the H or it's going to be for uh, the HF band uh, for me. Um, in terms of power ranges, my initial thought, because I've got a couple of these old meters lying around in the shack, which the scale goes from 0 to 10, so my, my initial thinking was, or, or maybe a good idea, because QRP came up a few times in the ideas, was to go for 0 to 10 watts. Um, so that was sort of going through my mind's eye. Um, and I'm certainly open to, to suggestions if, if there's any need to maybe go less than a watt. Um, there obviously had to be some kind of amplification going on to get it up to the right levels, but you know, I don't know how low that would need to go. But my initial thinking was, for what I do here, um, 1 to 10 watts is about the aiming point. Um, I've sort of been, years ago, um, not years ago, just recently actually, um, I uh, s finished off a career in the Air Force, and way, way back um, when I first started, I was using the old Bird 43 watt meter, um, and I sort of started thinking around how that was built and sort of a bit of googling around and that has the old um, the main conductor passing the RF through and then a, a loop, a sensing loop that senses um, some portion of that RF which is then rectified uh, past that is the RF is filtered to earth um, there's a pick off there going for our DC value there and on the other end is a, um, a termination resistor um, so my thinking was doing something similar like that and not using for a start um, no toroids. So I was, I, was, I was trying to do away with that as a, as a start point. Um, and I was sort of just toying around with the idea of, um, and it, this is not new, of using say a piece of RJ58 here um, and then actually breaking into the outer shield and then inserting a wire that ran down the inside and then pop back out again to to create that sort of pseudo loop um, so that was sort of thinking that might be an idea of um, of, of actually creating a bird um, watt meter style pickup um, and of course bird didn't actually well yeah full stop so that was sort of going through my mind so in other words not using a toroid um, I'm, I'm quite keen to make this a, a series of videos sort of looking at maybe starting off with this approach here of just having um, some kind of internal pickup and then if need be then later on down track we could look at using some kind of toroid with the main conductor going through uh, with one or two turns on that uh, to, to, to sense some of that power in a transformer type arrangement um, and then have that being detected uh, and either have, potentially having that center tap to get both our forward and our reflected power. Um, but like I say, quite keen to make this a, a series of videos. Um, so uh, the, the other thing which I'm sort of quite keen to uh, get some feedback on is, is sort of you know, thoughts and ideas is um, Arduino. And I'll do a big question mark there. Is there a desire to, once we've got this DC uh, being created, um, is there a desire to either feeding it straight in or to amplify it and having it then going into... Um, the analog uh, pins of an Arduino and then having it, uh, once it's digitized, then displayed in some manner. Um, that could be, and again, I'm, I'm totally open to ideas here, uh, would that be displayed on, say, just a, a little traditional 16 by 2 LCD display, or is there some kind of desire to have a, a pseudo needle being displayed, or needles, plural, so one for forward and one for reflected power. Um, would there be some desire for that? Um, you know, here goes a little 0.96 OLED display. It's an I2C device. Um, could display it on that. Um, this one here uh, is a uh, an old Nokia display that they used to use in the old Nokia phones. Or if that's you know, well, it's really of no real use and interest, then we'll just stick with some kind of arrangement with having um, two displays. Um, and like I say, having it set up to be either 
um, well, like I say, zero to 10 watts, for example. So that's what I'm sort of, you know, open to ideas and suggestions there of, of, of what might be the best approach. So certainly feel free to um, to chime in with the comments and, and provide some suggestions there. So I think that's probably all I want to do for this particular video, was just to sort of float the idea of this is what I want to do next. Um, like I say, starting off with, uh, with, with no toroids and going with some kind of um, sensing loop. Um, and then... Uh, being a series of videos, then if need be, then maybe actually exploring the idea of um, a toroid, which is used in many, many different um, SWR and power meters. But um, anyway, so that's just a, uh, a an intro video, just sort of, like I say, toying with ideas and thoughts about um, what to do for the, the next build. And, um, and like I say, absolutely more than welcome with comments and constructive feedback. Um, absolutely welcome. So I think that's probably all I want to cover there. Um, this one here, just going back to that sort of sensing loop, would probably have two loops. So uh, one that's sensing the forward power and then one that's sensing the, uh, the reflected power. So there'll be two loops in, in whatever way. Um, yeah, so uh, probably enough said there. Oh, right. um, yeah, so there you go. So like I say, um, Power levels, please. Um, any comments on that would be useful, and I'll just sort of take what the, the majority wants there. Uh, do we know yes or no? And if so, what type of display? Um, would it be a, a decimal number or some kind of pseudo um, arrows? And uh, I think that's probably about all. Or anything else, please sing out. Okay, 73 is all. Cheers all.